Hello, this is Dr. Grishma, ENT specialist and cochlear implant surgeon. Today, I am going to discuss about normal ear anatomy and what is normal hearing. So, ear has three parts the outer, middle, and the inner ear. Outer ear has pinna and the external auditory canal. Middle ear has tympanic membrane and three tiny bones called the ossicles. These are connected to the inner ear, which is the cochlea. Cochlea has thousands of sensory cells. From the cochlea, cochlear nerve goes to the brain and the sound is perceived as hearing. So, what happens when there is a sound in our environment? Sound waves cause vibration of the ear molecules and these vibrations are transmitted through the canal to the tympanic membrane. And the tympanic membrane, the middle ear has tympanic membrane and three tiny bones called the ossicles. These bones are connected to the inner ear, cochlea. Cochlea has thousands of sensory cells. The, from the cochlea, cochlear nerve goes to the brain. So what happens when there is a sound in our environment? Sound causes vibration of the ear molecules in our surroundings and these vibrations are transmitted into the ear canal and causes vibration of the tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane vibrations are transmitted through the ossicles and from here the sound mechanical vibration is transmitted into the cochlea. In the cochlea, these mechanical vibrations are picked up by the sensory cells and convert it into an electrical signal. This electrical signal is transmitted through the cochlea nerve into the brain and it is perceived as hearing. So, what happens in a child with profound hearing loss? In a child with profound hearing loss, these sensory cells in the organ of hearing cochlea are absent. This leads to the failure of conversion of mechanical vibrations into an electrical signal, so hearing cannot be perceived. If there is profound hearing loss and all the sensory cells are absent, hearing aid will not be useful. Only cochlear implant is an option in such children. When the, when the child cannot hear, he depends only on the vision for his uh, um, responses to any stimulus. So, he, he will be very good in lip reading and the area of the brain which is allocated for the vision is taken over uh, area of the brain. This. The area of the brain which is allocated for the hearing is taken over by the area of the brain which is allocated for hearing. So, after 6 years of age, child will not have any area specially allocated for hearing. So even if we do a cochlear implant, he will not have much benefit after the age of 6 years. So early detection is the key for rehabilitation of the deaf mute chair. I would like to discuss about cochlear implant, its parts and how it works. So cochlear implant has two parts, internal component and external component. Internal component is implanted inside the body and the external component is kept behind the ear. First, we will discuss about the parts of the internal component. So, internal component has a receiver or stimulator and an electric electrode. So, the internal component has a receiver or stimulator and an electrode array. The receiver or stimulator has a magnet and the surgeon gives an incision behind the ear and implants the receiver or stimulator between the skin and the bone and meticulously inserts the electrode array into the cochlea after doing the cochlear stimulator. External part has a microphone, speech processor and a transmitting coil. So what happens when there is a sound in the environment? The sound waves are picked up by the microphone and are transmitted to the speech processor. Speech processor divides these sounds on the frequency basis and converts it into a digital signal. This digital signal is transmitted through the receiver through the transmitting coil. The transmitting coil and the receiver are in a position and are attracted to each other by the magnet present in them. Receiver or the stimulator, once it gets the digital signal, depending on the frequency, transmits it to that particular electrode. That is the high frequency sounds go to the electrode in the basal term of the cochlea and the low frequency sounds go to the electrode in the apical term of the cochlea. These signals are picked up by the cochlear nerve and it is perceived as hearing by the brain. After the cochlear implant, after 2-3 to three weeks, switch on is done 
and uh, the child can perceive the sound. So the child is uh, rehabilitated for a period of two years during which he slowly understands sound, then syllables, different by syllables, and then slowly he will try to speak by articulation of muscles in the oral cavity. This entire process takes place uh, takes up to two years, two years. And uh, in Amrita ENT, we have specialized team for the cochlear implant surgery and rehabilitation.